Hello everyone, Tracy Campbell here, bringing you this week's notices. The first notice is for you ladies. If you're a lady in the house, let me hear you say, woo! I'll take that. The notice is about the SIU breakfast happening on the 16th of October, which is a Saturday. Some of you have already signed up, but if you haven't, please make your way to the information stand at the back of the church. And if you're listening to this online, you can sign up by calling the church office. Saturday the 23rd of October is the next date for your diary because we at ECC are going to be doing what's called a walk and a talk. So if you like walking and you like talking, this is for you. We're going to be out and about in the great outdoors, leaving at two o'clock from number 43 Upper Walthamstow Road. There's free parking in the area, so no need to worry about that. So please, if you enjoy a walk outside in the great outdoors, Saturday the 23rd of October is a date for your diary and the meetup time is two o'clock. Many of you will be aware that here at ECC we are very privileged to have our own school of worship and if you're listening to this announcement and you may not be vocally inclined you may not be the member of a worship ministry but are you a worshiper are you a lover of God somebody who wants to better understand what is it that we have been called to as part of this worshiping community what is it that God requires of us in terms of our worship if you want to understand with more confidence and clarity the theology of worship then the school of worship is for you we are ecstatic at the opportunity to run our course again for 2022 the date for your diary is Sunday the 28th of November right here at ECC Central from 6 to 8. We are holding a school of worship taster evening. Pastor Doug Williams is going to bring some teaching, just a snippet, just a taster of a teaching that he brings on the school of worship about the Trinity. You need to be there. You need to understand how do we engage with a God who has his existence in a trinity of person. You want to hear more about that? You need to come to the Taster Evening. If you can't make it, please share the news with a friend or with a family member. It's happening on Sunday, the 28th of November, right here, ECCI. Pastor Doug teaching, Yolanda Antonio leading worship. You know you need to be there. So this is an appeal for volunteers. We need two volunteers. Firstly, somebody to help us with our friendship hour, which is a weekly connection point for the senior members, not just of our church here, but individuals within the community, where they come together, they sing worship songs, they have a meal together and a time to socialize. Do you feel a calling to that area of ministry? We need somebody who can run this friendship hour provision on a Tuesday from one until three. Is that job for you? Secondly, we need somebody else to run our toddlers group, which happens on a Thursday from 10 until 11.30. This is a major part of our outreach here at ECC because it draws mums from the community who may not ordinarily come into church. So if you're able to help with either our friendship hour or running our toddlers group, please do make contact with our centre office. <music> Have you noticed we've been doing something slightly different with our notices? We've been having a slot that we've been calling Getting to Know You. So today, you're gonna get to know me. So, four facts about my life, two from my childhood, two from my adulthood. Number one, if you had asked me as a child what I wanted to be when I grow up, I would have said, I want to be a sweet shop lady. That was the sum total of my aspiration as a child. I wanted, and if you're a 70s baby, you will understand, I wanted unlimited access to cola cubes, to pear drops, to the little yellow bananas, and the little pink shrimps, and the little white chocolate mice. That was the sum total of my aspiration, to have unlimited access to those sweets. And if you were there at that time, you know it was the rage. The second fact from my childhood is that I was a very skilled footballer as a child, played football to a very serious level, actually went to primary school with, with Rio Ferdinand, for those of you who know Rio Ferdinand, and I actually stopped playing football because I became a Christian, because the matches were on a Sunday, and back then, you know, my understanding was anything you're doing on a Sunday that is not church is not of God, so you need to remove yourself from that space. But I was a very serious footballer as a child, and if you have a ball handy, and you want to challenge me to some kick-ups, 
you might be surprised by what you see. Number three, um, I've actually been on five different uh, mission trips. I've been to Norway, I've been to Germany, I've been to South Africa, I've been to Poland and I have been to Kenya. Uh, my longest mission trip was to South Africa. I was there for six months and I got about two or three months into my stay and I rang my mum and I said, mum, I am not coming home. I was so impacted by the work that we were doing um, in South Africa that I very seriously had no intention of returning home, but circumstances would have it. But I did come back and a few years later, I moved to North London and I ended up coming here to ECC, so there we go. And the last fact about me is that I am an author of two books. I have written one book for teachers and a second book for parents. And I am in the process of writing my third book, which is going to be a book for children. So I hope that has been interesting as you have got to know me, Tracy Campbell, by far the most meek and mild member of the ECCI church community. See you soon. <laughs>